Grant and I have decided to do a few short videos for you, educational videos, entertaining about a few topics. I think today we're going to do one on trees, if I'm yes. correct. Yes, and this species of tree. Okay, I think when you look at a tree, Trace, I think uh, many people see different things. If I was a kid and looking at this tree, I would see like a very tall tree. Maybe not so good for a tree house because the branches are quite high up on the trunk. As a birder, you'd be looking at this for, for nesting birds, cavity nesters. Maybe small mammals would frequent this tree. Do you know what it is? Quickly guess. Have you taken a look at the general shape, size? Yeah, so this particular tree generally grows very tall with one straight trunk. You can see the bark is quite uh, jagged and rough. Kind of flaky like my hand. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we have a very uh, rounded leaf. Fairly big for this species. Basically this is one of the thorn trees. Uh, you might know them as acacias. Yeah, so it's, it has these paired forms like you mentioned, but I think one of the biggest telltale of what this tree is, is if you take a look at the branches, do you notice anything there? Well, there are these little uh, protrusions. Some would call them maybe knobs. Knob with a thorn. Yeah, so therefore we have a... Knob thorn! Knob thorn! <laughs> so Trace, I think we've covered the general kind of shape, size and uh, features of the tree and we've established what it uh, it doesn't make a good tree house tree, mm. but what is it good for? Well, it's good for many things. Uh, the knobthorn is a very iconic tree in this savanna habitat and it's highly important for many different aspects of the environment, many wildlife species. So what do you guys think um, made all this damage? I'm sure a lot of you have guessed that it is a... <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> They're those thorns we were speaking of. <laughs> so an elephant would come up to this tree and pry up the bark with their tusk and then strip off this cambium layer. This is where all the nutrients are, especially in the winter. When there aren't a lot of leaves, they go for the bark. I think this would also be a tree that you would notice that's been pushed over quite a bit. As you were saying, during the winter, uh, the elephants are going for the roots. You'll often see uh, the knobthorn and also leadwood trees that are dead out in the, the savannah. That is when elephants actually ring bark the trees. So they strip this outer bark all the way around and the cambium layer. And if a tree is ring barked, then it's going to die. And this is one of their favorite trees because of the calcium content. Uh, them and giraffe, being big animals, big boned, uh, they would be seeking that calcium. Trace, if this is an indication of an elephant feeding on this tree, what uh, would a giraffe feeding on the tree look like? Well, if a giraffe has been feeding on the tree, you might see the browsing line, which is a very the flat line that you see where they can reach to. Or you might see an hourglass shape of the, the entire tree. So let's look at what different kinds of animals and creatures inhabit this tree. Cool, Tracy. What, what are we looking for first? Well, there's a few structures in this tree that might look like birds' nests, but one of them is actually a spider's nest. And what type of spider are we looking at here? Well, we have a community nest spider. It's a massive nest inhabited by tiny little spiders in a community, so there could be several hundred of them in there. So these spiders catch little insects in the sticky web around the outside of their nest, and then uh, they bring it into the nest and they all feed communally on this uh, on on the prey. So now that we've covered the spiders, I think there's something else that you noticed on this beautiful tree. Place. Yeah, right up top there is a parasitic plant growing on this knobthorn tree. It is a mistletoe. Are we standing directly underneath this mistletoe? <laughs> 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 all right, so mistletoe is actually a parasite. It's uh, deposited on the tree by birds and it parasitizes on the tree because it kind of taps into the trees the nutrients and the water supply of the tree. So it will have a flower which contains the seed and then the birds will 
come and feed on this one and so spread it again. And the mistletoe flower is actually very important, especially in the winter, because it's one of the only plants that flower in the winter. So it's an important source of nectar for sunbirds and bees, and even elephants will push over the knobs just to get to that sweet flowers. So Grant, I noticed something else next to the mistletoe. It also looks bird nest-like. What is that? Well, Trace, that's actually very interesting because that is the nest for a bush baby. Bush baby? Bush baby. Yeah, I think you must probably know it locally as a nahati, mm -hmm. which is a night egg. So uh, it's like those little primates with the very big eyes. Very, very big eyes. Ah. Uh, but yes, obviously they need those big eyes. Being a nocturnal animal, allow the light in, able to see. Uh, but yeah, they're little insect eaters. So do they always make these nests? Uh, they won't always use a nest. Um, often you, they use cavities in trees and things like that. Uh, that would be obviously first prize. But otherwise they build these nests. Again, we were talking about this knob thorn tree with the hundreds of thorns. It's great protection for them. Uh, and they also feed on the gum of trees and this would be one of them as well. So it also, uh, it's a food source to them. So Trace, I think it's getting rather warm out there. As you can see, I'm starting to break out into a sweat. So I think I'm gonna use the shade of this tree to maybe uh, take a break. Take a nap. Take, oh, definitely, a siesta. <laughs> well, we've looked at this knobthorn tree, a very iconic and important tree in the savannah. You know, it's utilized by many animals, very nutritious tree, and uh, provides homes for many animals. So, a very important guy. Yeah. Well, it's been great. Until the next time.